video for lesson 101 on my website, adding signed numbers. This is one of the most important lessons on my site, so make sure that you fully understand it and feel fully comfortable with it. If you have difficulty understanding this lesson, you'll have trouble with all the material that follows because it builds upon this lesson, especially when we get to algebra. We're going to be using this skill again and again, so make sure that you don't have any difficulty with it whatsoever. Up until now, we've been working with adding positive numbers, and we haven't had any trouble with that. In this lesson, we're going to introduce negative numbers, and we're going to have to add them. Now, very often students say something like, well, what's a negative number? How can you have negative three apples? And in a sense, they're right, but negative numbers do come up quite a bit in math, and so we have to know how to work with them, and we have to feel comfortable with them. Now, I like to think of negative numbers as debts, or how much money I owe. So if I see negative three, I'll think of that as I owe three dollars. If I see a positive number, I'll think of that as how much money I have. Now let me show you how this works. For this example, I'd like to add three plus negative five. Now I know that looks strange, especially if you're used to only working with positive numbers, but this is a very common task in math that we'll have to do. Here's how I like to teach it. I'm going to look at the positive 3 as I have $3. So I have $3 in my pocket. This negative 5 I'm going to look at as a debt. So I owe you $5. It's negative 5. By the way, this 3 we know is positive simply because it doesn't have a negative sign in front of it. We don't have to put a plus sign in front of it. Okay, so the situation is I have $3, but I owe you $5. Now, we know from experience what that means. If I want to pay you back your money, I can pay you back the $3 that I have, but think about the situation. I'll still owe you money, won't I? I'll still owe you $2. And the way we'll show that is by writing negative 2. The negative meaning, I owe you money. I still owe you money. Now, how did I know that I still owed you $2? Well, first of all, I saw right away that I owe you more money than I have. So that's not a good situation for me. So I know the answer will be negative, without a doubt. Now to figure out the part of it, the actual 2 part of it, all I did was really do 5 minus 3. I figured out the difference between how much I have and how much I owe you. And that's all there really is to adding signed numbers. Just think of it in terms of how much you have and how much you owe. Let's take a look at another example. For this example, I'd like to do negative 4 plus 7. By the way, just to remind you, remember that addition is commutative. That means that we can add the numbers in whatever order we feel like. So if for some reason you want to switch the order that these numbers are in, that's fine. We could also do 7 plus negative 4. Okay, so for this example, I'm going to think of this as I owe you $4, but I have $7. Now right off the bat, that's a good situation for me, because I have more money than I owe. So right off the bat, I know the answer is positive. I don't have to bother to write a plus sign. Without the plus sign, we assume that the answer is positive. Okay, so I have more money than I owe, and what I'll do is I'll simply just do 7 minus 4 to get 3. That's the difference between how much I have, but how much I have to pay you back, how much I owe you. So the answer is positive 3. Okay, let's do one more example. For this example, I'd like to do negative 3 plus negative 5. Okay, now think about that for a minute. We said that a negative number we're going to think of as a debt, or how much you owe. So I can think of this problem as I owe $3 to one friend, and I owe $5 to another friend. So what's my situation there? Well, I'm getting more and more into debt. What I'm going to do is just add up my debts. I owe 3, and I owe 5, so I owe a total of 8. And since I owe, I'll write that as negative. Negative 8. So make sure that you feel fully comfortable doing things like this. If you just think of it in terms of how much you have versus how much you owe, or in this case owing twice, you really won't have any problems at all. One thing I just want to mention is you may see these problems with parentheses written around the numbers. If you see that, don't get confused. Sometimes they'll do that just to isolate numbers, just to kind of emphasize them so they're easier to see. For example, I might do this, or you may see it written like that, just to kind of show that we're dealing with the sum of positive 3 and negative 5. It just makes it a little easier to read, but these parentheses are optional. But sometimes you'll see them, especially around negative numbers, 
just so that it's very clear what our numbers are and what our operation is. In these problems, our operation is always addition, and we're just adding a combination of positives, positive and negative numbers. Okay, again, make sure that you feel super comfortable with this. If you're not comfortable doing problems like this, I promise you, you're going to have a lot of difficulties going forward, especially when you get to algebra. Make sure you can do these problems in your sleep. We'll talk more about this in upcoming lessons.